Folks, um, my name is Pete. I'm the owner of the Ebo Art Studio, and I wanted to set the record straight. So I'm going to talk during this clip so you could maybe understand where I'm coming from, okay? Some people have said that I'm malice towards her, malicious. And my question is, what would you do if somebody that you'd only met two times in your life is attacking you, attacking your business, attacking, you know, where you earn the money to feed your family, attacking your reputation, saying bad things about you, trying to cause problems at your animal rescue, what would you do? You know, initially I figured maybe she would just go away. Apparently she's got this sick denial thing that she can't go away. So I'm trying in, in a way, in a classy way, to just make her go away. And what I do is I share things about her that she's done with me to the public on YouTube. So what you see me put on YouTube is, is nothing but the truth. And when this ends up in court, that'll be proven because I'm sure attorneys will want records and they can see that this stuff came from Margarita Ponte um, and that none of it's fabricated. And it's not gonna be that way with Margarita because she's told one lie after the next. And um, when this goes to court and all these things are proven, I will post everything on YouTube and throughout Tampa for everybody to see without a doubt that this is an emotionally sick woman. Okay, so, so you understand a little bit more about myself. Well, first of all, here's the other company that she slandered on YouTube. So I'm not the only person she's done this to. Okay, you would think that if NothingTypical2010.com was a company that helped companies, that they wouldn't be involved in a battle with one of its own clients, which is the Ebor Art Studio. But this is not a business thing. This is much more personal. Margarita Ponte had a relationship with our manager. They're very close friends. And she doesn't like the fact that her manager friend no longer works for us. Okay? So if you want to know a little bit more about us, um, I'm going to scroll down here and um, I'm going to show you something. Okay? This is one of our websites. We love cats. Okay, and this is um, Mama the Feral Cat here. She taught me to love cats and also um, made it possible for the, um, the animal rescue to be uh, part of our lives. One of the things that my girlfriend and I do, we go around and we feed cats. So here's a little clip that shows you what happens when we feed a uh, kitty cat on the, um, the weekends. When we turn the corner, I think you'll see them because they know us. There it is. There's a little kitty right there. One of them, anyway. There's three. Three kitties. When we get out of the van, and um, the kitty, you can see what we have for them is tuna and dry food. So we try to feed them really well. Come on. And there's the old girl right there. She's real skittish and real sickly. We've given her some uh, pet meds for um, worms, hoping to help her. Because, you know, sometimes they get so weak, they just eventually just give up and die. But here we go. Okay, you guys, enjoy. Mama, come sweetheart. You gotta eat. She doesn't want to eat. We gotta go. Bye, everybody. So there you have it. We're not completely mean, nasty people. We love all types of pets, including cats. So we're going to go back to the Nothing Typical website here, and I'm going to show you some things. Just bounce around a little bit. From Margarita at Nothing Typical, sent Tuesday, June the 3rd, 2010. Okay, and what it says here, for Pete's sake, watch this video. This is a story about those silent heroes living amongst us. Okay, so you can see that June the 1st of 2010, Margarita Ponte is calling me a silent hero. Okay, so we're going to go up here a little bit and I'm going to show you some things. Some things I can't show you because um, she will say copyright infringement and then we'll have a problem where they'll remove it. Margarita Ponte has been threatening to sue us for two years, okay? And the only thing we get is a letter from a prepaid legal attorney. If you want to read the whole letter, all you have to do is... Um, go to nothingtypical2010.com and read this letter, okay? And you can see this is my answer to her prepaid attorney, okay? Now, here's a funny thing. Margarita Ponte has slandered us 
our merchant circle. She says that she went to this business and verbally expressed her interest in volunteering. Okay, but let me ask you something. Do you really think after she sends us threatening emails and does other bad things and threatens threatening voicemails that we would let her enter the studio and talk to us about volunteering? Do you really believe that? So this is another lie. Okay, this is, look at this. November the 14th is when she she posted this of 2010. It's been almost two years that she's had this up here, okay? The meeting never happened because we never would have let her into the studio. Okay, so we're going to go up here to page three. I'm not sure what's on this page, but, oh yes, this is breaking news. Margarita Ponte states that I'm um, a stingy person, that I'm greedy, okay? And um, this is a letter from uh, Sean, our last manager, to Lady Grace. There was an event at the studio, and, um, you know, Sean was talking to her about the, the money, okay? So if you look right here, what does it say? It says, Pete is not a greedy man, and he don't need your money, okay? So also says the check was sent by Peter on Tuesday. You will get it. This is Margarita's good friend, the one that she's fighting me for because Margarita is mad that her friend no longer works for me. Okay, this, was, this took place October the 14th of 2009 on our first Facebook page, okay? So here's Sean, Margarita's good friend, telling everybody the check was sent by Peter on Tuesday. You will get it tomorrow or Saturday. Pete is not a greedy man, and he don't need your money, okay? So this disputes what Margarita Ponte says about me, all right? So let's go to the site map and see what's on there. Of course, you've got this here. This is the YouTube video where she starts screaming at us. And what would you do if, if you got... Uh, this listen Friday, to the date. November 12, uh, 2010 at 1 p.m. Okay, this is Friday, November the 12th of 2010. So remember that date because you're going to see some other things that prove that she's lying again. Okay, so what would you do if you got a message like this? It's easy for you to hear this. Just go to our... Um, nothing Typical 2010 uh, site on YouTube and listen to it. It's disgusting. It shows her nasty nature. So what would you do if somebody sent you a voicemail like that? How would you respond? Okay, let's, let's look at some more. Okay, all right. So here we go. She slandered us. She's harassed us. Look at this um, email from Margarita Ponte. Okay, to protect the public from you, why Ebor Art Studio sucks at yahoo.com. Do you really believe we did that or anybody else? Comes from Margarita Ponte, okay? What does she say here? This is like really sick, okay? It says here, I will protect the public from you till the day I die. Do you not think that that is something that's um, nasty from a sick mind? What would you think if somebody sent you that, okay? Let's go down a little bit more. She sent another one. I will never cease from telling the world a the truth about you, okay? And um, so, so what would you say if you got something like that, okay? You would think that the person either had a relationship with you or they stole all your money or something, but it was never about the video that I uploaded. It was all about the fact that her friend is no longer working for me and Margarita Ponte can't play on the e-bar studio computer anymore, okay? So I'm gonna show you some more things. Please be patient. I'm glad you people have taken the time to watch this, okay? All right, now, after Margarita Ponte met us, she sent us this email, okay? It says here, it was lovely to make your acquaintance today. Get ready, because the video I have in mind is going to blow your mind. I think the Ebor Art Studio is a lovely place for artists to come together and support each other through arts and other venues. Below is, my, is the picture of my website's homepage. If you click it, blah, blah, blah. I'm really glad I had a chance to meet you all and view your work and what you do there. Get ready because I plan to bring a bunch of free publicity about your facility, okay? I also plan to attend Women of the Pits, all right? This is an email that she sent, sent us. Look at this, muchos besos. What type of email is that? Do you think that's a business email? No, it's to her friend, okay? So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to our mail and I'm gonna show you some things, okay? So you can understand that I'm not lying that, um, I'm not telling, the, you know, that I am telling the truth, okay? Here is the first letter that Margaret Ponte has ever sent us. It was 15th of December, 2008, 
okay? So she's interested in a brochure about the website and classes, okay? So that's the first email Margie DePonte's ever sent the Ebor Art Studio. All right, let's go look at some more. All right, so here we go. Um, we've got here, um, just to kind of show you, here is another email where she says, this is the one where the silent hero living among us. This is the pet rescue video. This was also on Photo Bucket, but Margaret Ponte took that down. Okay, so, so you can see the picture here. I didn't make it up. And it says here, Margaret Ponte, and watch this video. This is the story about those silent heroes. So June the 1st of 2000 centuries called me a silent hero. Let's go back here. I'll show you some more. Here is more proof. If you go to our Facebook account, which we have 5,000 friends, July the 11th of 2010. Here is Margarita Marie, that's Margarita Ponte, message to Sean, our manager. It's nothing illegal about me showing you this because it's public knowledge. It's on the Facebook account. Look at this, Margarita Marie, Sopresa Amiga, okay? This isn't just somebody you don't know, somebody you know well that you hang out with. Here's another one, okay? Oh my God, Sean, just recovering from the stress of move. Thank you. Now, why do I show you this? I show you this to prove that she had a relationship with the Ebor Art Studio. And I'm going to show you what happened very shortly, okay? So now you know that there are many, many, many interactions in 2010 between Margaret Aponte and the Ebor Art Studio. Okay, let's go back here to the mail and see some more stuff, okay? Now, um, just to kind of show you something... Okay, this is, um, for example, uh, this one here is from Margarita Ponte. Apologies for not returning your call. September the 8th of 2010. Okay, loves you tons. Woo Mags. Okay, so, so you know without a doubt that she had a very good friendship with our manager. Okay, so that kind of helps you understand what I'm telling you the whole time. The reason she's mad is because her friend no longer works for us. Okay, let's go to the next email, okay? So, here we go, September the 23rd. Where have you been, Nana? Remember me? Okay, so she's trying to figure out where our manager friend is. This is all, again, from Margarita Aponte to the Ebor Art Studio. All right, let's go back and look at some more. There's a lot of interesting things here. Okay, September the 21st, 2010. Okay, it says here, um, Oh my God, you sent my dad away. Do you know? Blah, blah, blah. This is another email, September the 21st, 2010, from Margarita to the Ebor Art Studio. Okay, so we're going to continue. I'm going to show you some stuff that's going to make a lot of sense. Okay, so Margarita Ponte, she tries to um, build a website for us. Okay, and... Um, this is an example of the website she had in mind for us. This is the front page. Okay, so let's read this. I'm thinking the look has to be uniform in all pages, except maybe the home front page before they enter the site. Print, print, okay? So, I'm, uh, house two have several artist videos of them explaining s some of how they do it. Example, belly dancing. Forget to ask you because I'm old as crap. I got people to donate a few high tables and chairs could you use them in the cafe area? Also, since you're into the recycling thing, how do you feel about getting some cutesy coffee cups, okay? So this is Margarita Ponte interacting with the Ebor Art Studio, okay? So, um, and this is stuff that you can take the time to read. And um, this is actually, well, Pete said he will be there tomorrow, okay? So if you look here, this is June the 11th. June the 12th is when I came to the studio and met Margarita Ponte. All right. So we're going to go to another email. It's important that people like look at this because this explains the whole story. Okay. All right. This is from Margarita Ponte. Okay. Mamita, your ears must be ringing. What type of um, business talk is that? Nothing to do with business it has to do with friendship. Okay. And, um, you're not alone in this thing about making the studio grow, Amiga. She is amazing with her ideas. I want to bring Latino Club to the studio. She has other tons of ideas. You just wait till you hear on Saturday, okay? Love you, girl. Keep up the good work. We're all behind you 100%, okay? It's Margarita Ponte. By the way, see this picture? This has got to be of her 20 years ago. Because if you go to YouTube and see the picture of her now, she's fat and nasty. Why do I say that? 
because she made derogatory co comments about my beautiful girlfriend, who I love and adore, and she's much prettier than, than Margarita Ponte has ever been or ever dreams of being. So we're going to go through some more here so you people can understand what's going on, okay? Here is uh, another email from Margarita Ponte. She's offering um, a winner uh, prize to people that enter the studio. And uh, this is like an example of another video that Margarita has changed around on YouTube and talked bad about me. So let's go talk about more of this, okay? All right, forward girl. Here is um, the, another website photo view if you, that Margarita Ponte was trying to create a website, okay? Look, it says here, to Margarita Ponte, nothing typical. Girl, what are you up to? Guess what I'm working on? Okay, this is Margarita Ponte returning the email, and this is supposed to be the, uh, the new Ebor Studio website, okay? I never wanted her to work on the website because I knew what she would try to do. You can tell when you meet somebody and they have a nasty personality. This is what I dealt with with meeting Margarita Ponte. Let's go back some more, okay? This is the, um, when she spoke bad about that company, okay? And, um, you know, this company right here. It's just nasty that she should do that. Nobody has a right to talk bad about people. You can do a lot of damage, okay? Okay, let's see what this is. Sean, this is... Um, I think we've seen this particular one here. This is where she um, wants to run a contest and the winner would get, the winner will have a free website created by me for them. And she was gonna put them on all these different sites. So this is from Margarita Ponte, May the 24th, 2010. Remember, she found out about the studio in November, 2008. This has been almost a year and three quarters and she's still playing at the Ebo Art Studio, okay? So let's find out when the trouble starts, okay? So here we go, um, September the 3rd of 2010, okay? Um, this is uh, her, check this out here. And you know me, well, I'm organized, so when I show up in court, it will be an eye-opening experience for them. This is that company that she's slandered that she's tried to sue, okay? Okay, Sean, read this, Nana Pronto. We need to do a video like this one and post it on your site. This is August the 11th of 2010. Uh, in October, started the slander. Okay, so up until August, she loved the Ebor Art Studio and we could do nothing wrong. So if I was that bad of a person, why would she be involved with the studio for all this time? Okay, let's go back some more and see some more of this. Okay, all right. Now here we go. This is... This is the first email from her, okay? Look, this is the negative one. Wednesday, October the 13th, 2010, okay? She's telling us that we've used a video without permission, second notice. There was never a first notice, only a second notice. This is how conniving and evil she is, okay? This was never the Pet Rescue movie. This was a different video. This was the one that um, about artists. You see, Margarita and her friend have uploaded many videos on the Facebook account and the Ebo Art Studio YouTube account. And what they did is they, they destroyed all of them when her friend was no longer working there. How could they do it? Because Margarita Ponte's friend had the codes to all our sites. Okay, let me go back here and show you something. Okay, Sean, where are you? Okay, this is September the 23rd of 2010. This is the last email that, that Margarita sent to the Ebor Art Studio looking for a friend. Okay, and then in October came the hate mail. So I hope that you've looked at this and you have a really good idea of what um, what's going on here. Okay, um, this woman had a good relationship with the Art Studio from November 2008 to September 23rd of 2010. You've seen with your very own eyes that she, um, you know, was a big part of the art studio. I'm going to show you something now. We're going to go to YouTube, okay? And I'm going to show you something that's very important so you can understand what, what she's doing to us, all right? We're just going to scroll here. First of all, this is our video that we made of our animal rescue, okay? Now, we didn't need the one that Margarita Ponte made. My, my girlfriend made this video, and... If you look at it, there is five likes and six dislikes, um, and 85 people have viewed it. You know, it's a shame that people can't be open-minded and look at this video and learn a lot about us 
We didn't need Margarita's video. We have our own video. The only way, reason Margarita's video is up is she's accused us of hurting animals and doing bad things. You know, she's accused us of not playing taxes on donations, not claiming donations. What does that have to do with a pet rescue video that she said that I stole from her? Okay, what does that have to do? Absolutely nothing. Why do we call her a pet hater? Because she's made so many accusations about our, our animal rescue. Don't you think she's trying to cause problems? In the end, who loses? The pets or us? If we close down the, the, the rescue, where will these 200 pets go live? You know, people have got to understand that, that this slander has got to stop. People should, any pet lover should stand up and say, no more. You shouldn't be talking bad about somebody that takes his time to save the life of, of almost 200 animals. Okay, so we're going to look at something. You see this video here? This is Margarita Ponte's video, okay, on YouTube. Okay, she talks bad about me. What, what this shows is me saying, I'll take money from anybody, okay? But see, what happens is, she doesn't show you the whole video where she asked me what happens if somebody wanted to donate money to the animal rescue, okay? And my reply was, I'll take money from anybody, okay? If you want to see this, all you need to do is just go to nothingtypical2010.com and search for it. Look at this. She's even got a reward for anybody that's got that's got dirt on me. I mean, let me back this up. Uh, would, would, would you believe that to anyone providing information about myself and the Ebor Art Studio? Okay. So, you know, think about it. This is sick behavior. All right. So, but anyway, we'll continue and look at some more things. All right. Um, you know, here's another one. Learn, learn the truth about a, uh, a businessman harassing everybody, okay? You people know for sure that um, Mark Reader Ponte had a relationship with the Ebo Art Studio. So put two and two together. Figure it out that she's mad at us because her friend no longer works with us, okay? We don't harass people. The first person to start this was Margarita Ponte. Look at the dates on the YouTube videos. If you want to see something, I'll show you something. It's a Y B O R Art Studio dot com. Okay, so we'll go here, and you'll see the date that this started. Okay, and it wasn't us that started. It was Margarita Ponte. It wasn't us. We did not start this. She did. Okay, I'm just looking for the video to show you um, what she has done. Let me try this a different way because um, it's not under dot com, and this video will end. And we'll have another one that will finish everything off. And hopefully people will become educated enough to know that um, what this woman says is absolutely a lie and that she's emotionally sick. You know, what am I supposed to do? Uh, fairly soon I'm just going to sue her and, and get this over with because um, we don't need to continue our lives with people saying bad things about us. Let's see if I can find this video. Sorry about this, folks. I think what's happened is um, she might have changed the, the, the view of the... Um, well, here, check this out. This particular one that we were just talking about, okay? This one was uploaded um, a year ago of, of me. Let's backtrack here. Um, this one here, okay? A year ago, my face has been on the Internet for a whole year talking bad about me. So don't feel bad when I have her face on the internet for, what, one week. Now, here's what's interesting, okay? People don't care about what she has to say anymore. Look at the views. 2,655 views in one week, okay? So it gives you a good idea that people don't care. And now people want to know the truth, and they're looking at what we put up, which is more important. If we don't stop this woman, there will be other people that she will harass, and all she's doing is bringing poison to the internet. It's got to be stopped, okay? So people can help by just telling her that they're tired of her crap, okay? So thank you. Go to nothingtypical2010.com. Look at it or go to margaritaponte.com. Read what we have to say. We're not here to lie to anybody. When this goes to court, the truth will come out. 
What she says about me is lie. I've never had donations from anybody. Only received $50 in four years for the animal rescue. So where is she coming up with all this crap about me not claiming donations? Okay? Thank you very much. Bye-bye.